Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an established practicing OBGYN and my castmate on Married to Medicine and now author of The Queen V, everything you need to know about sex, intimacy, and down there health care. Yes. Yes. Welcome my friend, Dr. Jackie Walton. Yes. What's up, yes. honey? Yes. Yes. All right. How you doing? Fabulous. Yes, Fabulous. you look great. Yes. Always, yes. Yes. always. Yes. Royalty. Yes. yes. <laughs> Yes. But okay, but before we get into the health care down there, mm -hmm. let's talk about the Married to Medicine reunion. Do talk. All right. We <laughs> see talk. you in quad here and where everybody's happy and in love. Mm -hmm. But what's going on with you and the rest of the cast? Well, I, th I think, I'm not sure, that we're fine. Mm -hmm. We're fine. You know, reunion allows us to come back and talk through the season and hopefully get it all out and be done with it. Right. You know, I'm all about releasing, letting it go, and just and moving me. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then why did you say hopefully? Because, because there been no I can only speak for myself. She can't control anyone yeah. else's only speak attitudes for myself. and behaviors. Mm. Yeah. Good. That's, right, yeah, that's yeah, a whole lot. Okay, okay good. Right where it is. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's talk a little bit about this <laughs> Queen V, honey. That's doing absolutely amazing right now. Yes. yes I yes. can see that you've come in number two yes. on Amazon. Yes. yes. So yeah. she's doing her thing, and you have a book signing that's going to be here in Atlanta on this Thursday, yes. right? Yes. At Barnes, Barnes and Noble, and Noble. okay? Yes. And Peachtree Peach Street. Street. Mm -hmm. All right, 6.30, I'll come and see about you, okay? Please. <laughs> All right, but now let's talk a little bit about what inspired you to write this book, mm -hmm. and why is it so important for you to get the information out there to women? So I think we are in a, in a place where we're in an epidemic of disempowerment for women. Mm -hmm. You know, like we hear about uh, the epidemics of loneliness, and all, but we're in a place where women have been disempowered. So I really want this book to give women the ability to speak about their feminine health, because sure, yeah. you know, we keep a lot of secrets, mm -hmm. and also to protect that part of her like it's royalty. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so in the book you talk about menopause, mm -hmm. menstrual health, uh, infertility, mm -hmm. intimacy, and libido. Yes. yes. Man, that's libido. good. Libido, that is girl. good. Because, mm. you know, the people say as we get older, you know, the libido drops. Is that true? Lies. They're no, telling. Oh, lies. lies. No. The people tell. I, uh -huh. Once we get more mature, I don't use the word older after my last birthday. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Once we become more mature, I think we're free. Mm -hmm. Now, I do think that couples have learned to love each other so much that intimacy isn't the top thing on their list, mm -hmm. but that's not true. I'm living mm -hmm. my best life. Yes. You and Curtis I'm over there. Curtis. Right. Yes, 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 yes ma'am. So, Dr. Jackie, you know, we hear about all of the diets and the fad diets and people are doing this and people are doing that, mm -hmm. but they, those can directly affect uh, your vaginal health, your vaginal health, Absolutely. as well as breast health. Yes. Talk to us a little bit about that. Well, you know, we've all heard you are what you eat. Mm -hmm. The crazy part about vaginal health and what you eat is you may revisit what you eat again. There are some women who can't break down certain oils, like fish oil. Mm -hmm. And so, if you have the good old fish sandwich, uh -huh. you know, a salmon, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. may smell it again. Leave a residue behind it. Got it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Onions. Mm -hmm. You may, you know. And again, if we're eating healthy foods with probiotics and nuts and things that'll help with your cholesterol, which will help your estrogen, mm -hmm. it's going to help all of you. Wow. Mm. So be careful what you're eating and when you're eating. So you talk about foods that help. What are some of those foods? So if you want to smell down there good, is <laughs> to eat pineapples. pineapples. I like pineapples. Sunflower seeds. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. make sure you what we'll flavor yeah. sunflower seeds, Jack? Yeah. <laughs> Not Cajun. <laughs> no, yeah, no, 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 no. Just stay with the original. Oh, stay just, just plain. Yes, just, just plain. plain. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just yeah. try to find yeah. it. Right, right. Mm -hmm. well, I have a question. How huh? can women identify with their the personality and not be ashamed of it? Okay. What's a V personality? Yeah, yeah, talk about those okay. personalities. Yes, you have no, in your book. absolutely. So read the book. Okay. Mm -hmm. But this, and it's not about the actual V. Mm -hmm. It really is about how you respond to your feminine health. And so I put five different personalities in the book. Okay, got and, you it. you know, you got to read the book. But one of them is, you know, Virgin Mary. Mm -hmm. And she's very conservative and, and a little shy about it, may not talk. 
you have uh, lady parts, mm -hmm. you know, we call it sanctified parts, mm -hmm. and we have lady parts. You have heard of hypochondriac? Yes. Well, you got lady part right. chondriac. Right, right. Yes. And then you have if anything's wrong, going to the doctor. Hyper focused on That's it. good. Yes. It's that's my good thing. Yeah, uh -huh. I know somebody. Jackie knows that's me. Yes. Hello. Yes, okay. absolutely. Yes. Uh, well, and, yeah, go ahead. And you know, Mary Jane, mm -hmm. and then we have a notorious VAG. Okay. Oh, what is notorious doing? Yes. 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 This is very a combination yes. of these the personalities, right? You can. You will find yourself, and who you meet, and how you meet them, and what you do can change your personality. Wow. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk more That's about personalities and yeah. all about the health down there with Dr. Jackie when we return. Ooh. Yes. I like this. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are back with the all knowing Dr. Jackie. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Well, Dr. Jackie, you know, women always throw around, you know, erectile dis dysfunction mm -hmm. when we're talking about men. Mm -hmm. But could women suffer from that too? So it's three categories of uh, female dysfunction. dysfunction yes. uh -huh. Pain, mm. uh -huh. orgasmic, mm -hmm. and then the whole sexual desire and arousal. So you kind of group them in those three categories. Mm -hmm. It used to be five or six, they've lumped mm -hmm. them all into three. But see, pain could be for something else, like for instance, fibroids. Uh, absolutely, you, you know, absolutely. But if it's interfering with that part of your life, we may put you in that category. Well, you know, my fibroids are. Gone. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah man. Yeah. That endometriosis is no joke. Okay, but let's let's get to the fun part. Yes. Talk about us about a talk us about a uh, a vagifacial. Yeah, vagacial. Oh, vagacial? A, a vaginal facial? facial yes. All but a V facial? Yes. A yes facial? Yes. Y'all had no okay. idea of what just popped up in my head, but okay, I'll yes. keep it to myself. Keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, it's very much like a facial. It's done on the external f lady parts, mm -hmm. and it's where we might remove ingrown hairs, exfoliate, moisturize. Mm -hmm. You've heard of steaming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, yeah, yeah, yeah we know. I, I just we know. I'm done with the steam. Yes, and they can do uh, high frequency light. You know, to kind the kind of just red, yeah, yeah, infrared mm -hmm. light, mm -hmm. yeah, all those so things. So you can get ingrown hairs on your lady parts. Oh, I have no ingrown hair on my lady parts. Okay. I have it. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. <laughs> so how do you say? You were saying. Uh -huh. Yes. How do we reach the woman? Because like men, sometimes women don't like to go to the doctor to figure out what's going on. How do we encourage her? to go to the doctor. Great question. I want them reading the Queen Bee. Mm -hmm. However, you know, first research a doctor. Use a good recommendation mm -hmm. from a friend and take a friend with you, but you may want to ask her to step out because sometimes you feel a little reserved in the yes, room. Yes, yes. Yeah, and then tell your doctor you're nervous. Mm -hmm. Just let me know. I'm scared of being here, and then I'm going to take a different approach right. mm -hmm. and talk to you and get you through the That's exam. That's what real yeah. doctors yeah. do. Yes. 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 You have great bedside manner, though. Yes, yes, yes we really you. do. Dr. Jackie, we're very excited for you. Thank, Thank you so much for being here. Make sure you follow Dr. Jackie on Instagram at the real Dr. Jackie and pick up a copy of her book wherever fine books are sold and like quite mentioned if you're in the Atlanta area you can have Dr. Jackie sign your copy at Barnes & Noble in Buckhead tomorrow night 6 30 to 9 p.m. The conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Thank you, Thank you Dr. Jackie. I love it Doc. <laughs> Dr. J. Yes.